Welcome back. Today we are going to discuss the problems in dialysis. And this problem is in continuation with the earlier problems that we have discussed. So here is a question, uh, the actual question which we have discussed earlier. So before you go through this video, pause a minute and read this question properly, then watch the video. So in this particular problem, we are trying to find out the concentrations you know, before dialysis and the after dialysis and also we want to find out the minimum and maximum concentrations so that uh, to identify that the concentrations during the dialysis is within the therapeutic range or not. You also assume a population interdialytic of uh, K interdialytic of is 0.01 hour and what concentration do you expect pre-dialysis on Wednesday? So let's draw a graph so the patient uh, underwent a dialysis on Monday and again on Wednesday is so on Monday the dialysis took place from 8 to 14 hours okay so normal clearance and clearance due to dialysis plus the clearance of the patient so this is from 8 till 1400 hours that is 2 o'clock uh, in the afternoon let's say 14 that is total of 6 hours period okay and again the patient is dosed with the do I mean uh, with again some amount of the drug so he's dosed with uh, around the 350 milligrams I hope you remember from a previous problem okay and the concentration that he achieved uh, C max of 10 mg per liter uh, then it's a normal clearance and the dialysis will take place on Wednesday at 8 o'clock the time between uh, Monday and Wednesday is how much is that okay Monday 2 o'clock till Wednesday 8 o'clock is 22 hours right now we need to find out the concentration what concentration do you expect pre dialysis on Wednesday so what is the concentration that we are going to expect before the dialysis that is approximately at this time point I hope you remember this formula C is equal to C naught into E power minus KT so here C naught we're going to take a C max uh, times e power minus k that is interdialytic emission rate constant we are going to apply times t is the time difference between dialysis time points is approximately 42 hours we calculated so the concentration is c max that is 10 mg per liter here times e power minus the interdialytic elimination rate constant is 0.01 hour times t is 42 hours let's say the concentration 6.57 mg per liter all right now that we finished the problem now let's you know write this equation according to the dialysis notations so the c pre dialysis is equal to c max times e power minus k inter dialytic elimination rate constant times the time between the dialysis okay so this is the equation for the first question what concentration do you expect pre dialysis on Wednesday so we are expecting a concentration of 6.57 mg per liter so what will the patient be in the therapeutic range at all times so the question is even during the dialysis and at the end of the dialysis will he be within the therapeutic range that is a question so we are going to use the same equation that we have used just now but in a different way that is a C post dialysis is equal to C pre dialysis times e power minus k intra dialytic. This is inter and this is intra, okay? This is intra dialytic times the time, okay? All right, let's see. So we know the C pre is 6.57, the concentration that we achieved 6.57 times e power minus k intra dialytic is 0 0.018 from the previous uh, problems you can see that we solved it here somewhere around here 0 0.018 hours this is the intradialytic uh, elimination rate constant times the time of dialysis I hope you remember this it's six hours right the time of dialysis is six hours okay six hours so for this equation you get the value of post dialysis that is approximately 5.9 mg per liter okay so 
concentration is 5.9 mg per liter. So the concentration at the end of the dialysis 5.9, the concentration beginning is 6.57 and the C max is 10 mg per liter. So starting from 10 till 5.9 mg per liter, these concentrations are within the range of 10, 5 to 10 mg per liter. So these concentrations are within the range of 5 to 10 mg per liter, right? So it is within the therapeutic range all the times. All right, uh, that is it for now.